So in this hyper competitive market and rates on the rise, is this still a good time to buy? Let's talk about it. The short answer is yes, but the long answer, well, it's a little bit more complicated. Let me show you what I mean. Higher home prices are here to stay. Let's face it, the internet is buzzing about a potential bursting bubble and is holding their breath for that moment to arrive. Well, my friends, get ready to break some world records if you're planning on holding your breath that long, since all signs are pointing to higher home prices sticking around. Even before the pandemic, the supply of the housing market couldn't meet the demand. In 2020, COVID-19 affected the housing market just like it did every other industry. However, we'd soon find out that the real estate market was a double-sided coin. I know you may be thinking, this housing market seems like the 07, 08 bubble, and I'll just wait until after things crash. The ingredients that caused the 2007 and 2008 market crash simply don't exist. And if higher home prices are causing you to think twice, keep in mind that housing prices will likely continue to rise. Home prices were already rising before the virus, and because of the pandemic, people needed things like more space to work from home, for example. This created greater demand in an already competitive market. And on top of that, labor and building materials are struggling to keep up with the supply chain. It's a perfect storm. With the extremely low inventory and high demand, Zillow projects a 17% rise in home values in 2022. Another thing to keep in mind is that interest rates have started correcting to higher levels. At the beginning of the pandemic, the Federal Reserve took action. So what did they do exactly? The Fed bought debt and mortgage-backed securities to try and help the economy. They created an artificially high demand for mortgage-backed securities, which in turn brought down mortgage interest rates. For a time, this helped add stability to the economy. It made it easier to access financial resources, investments, and loans. And you guessed it, those loans include mortgages. It's not surprising why it was so popular to get into home ownership during the pandemic. Demand was definitely already outpacing supply. The lower interest rates made a home purchase that much more attractive, and a lot of people jumped on the opportunity. With inflation on the rise, so too has a labor market. The Fed has noticed this, so they're planning on selling some of their balance sheet. So what does this mean? This move helps bring mortgage interest rates back up to normal market levels. Now remember, a more balanced market is good for the economy, but higher interest rates will decrease the power of home buyers. Rent price increases are breaking records. It's no secret rent prices are up 14% year over year, with some up over 30% in major metro areas. You can pretty much count on rent prices to rise over time. This is due to a variety of factors, inflation, rising utility costs, location value, and the list goes on. Although a down payment may sting at first, a fixed rate mortgage and payment does not increase over time, which is a huge win for home ownership versus renting. Remember, 0% of your rent payments build any of your own equity. Since it's not part of a home investment, you'll never see any of that money again. In the current housing climate, the cost of waiting to make a move in the real estate market will likely cost you more money in the long run. At Benchmark, we provide a first class home buying experience and have a team that want to see you succeed in this competitive market. We bring certainty to the closing table. Contact your local branch today on how to get started. If you enjoyed this Let's Talk About It video, well, let's talk about it some more. Click the subscribe and notification bells below.